Computers get dusty over time, it's just a fact. But have you ever thought about cleaning the insides of your USB ports? If not, it's a real shame because dirty USB ports are known to cause bad connections and can even kill the ports over time. Fortunately, USB ports are pretty easy to clean. They only take a few minutes a month to maintain, but might require more frequent maintenance if you have pets that shed a lot or live in a dusty environment. To clean them, you'll need the following. Tweezers, toothpicks, Q-tips or cotton swabs. You'll also need lint-free cloth, compressed air and isopropyl alcohol. The first step in cleaning any USB port is to turn off the power to your computer or laptop. In the case of a laptop, remove the battery if it's a model with a removable battery. The next step is to take a pair of tweezers and carefully remove any chunks of debris that are visible to the eye. This can include dust bunnies, tufts of pet hair and even bits of food. If a USB device broke inside the port, remove all physical pieces of it. Take care not to scratch the contacts with tweezers or other metal objects. Rubber tip tweezers are strongly preferable to the bare metal type. You can purchase a can of compressed air from basically any grocery or big box store, and Amazon ships entire cases of the stuff if you need it. The cans come with a long narrow tube for direct application, so use this nozzle to angle the air into the USB port. Remember to keep the can upright to prevent cold condensation. You should also try to blow at an angle coming at the port from the sides rather than straight on, to avoid blowing debris deeper inside the port. This technique takes care of a lot of dust and debris and helps loosen anything that might still be stuck in the back of the port. For standard USB-A ports, a cotton swab or Q-tip can pull out any debris the compressed air has loosened. Dip it in some isopropyl alcohol before inserting it. Any standard concentration will do, but bear in mind that higher concentrations of alcohol dry more quickly, and you need to wait for the port to be completely dry before turning your computer back on. Rubbing alcohol breaks down the oils and grime buildup in the connector, especially those from accidental skin contact. This will clean the port and ensure a better connection without the risk of damage that comes with water moisture. If you need to dry the port more quickly, use a lint-free cloth and not another cotton swab. That'll just leave bits of cotton behind, completely defying the point. As an alternative to alcohol, you can use contact cleaner, found at most electronic stores, for USB maintenance as well. If you'd also like to know how to clear the Lightning or USB-C ports on an iPhone or tablet, check out the article linked below. See you next time.